welcome to the youtube channel of mahajan computers today we are going to discuss about you can access this is a jdbc driver which has come up with jdk 1.8 now see in the previous versions before jdk 1.8 we used to use a jdbc odbc bridge to read an ms access database actually the problem with its use was this only worked in a windows environment and we needed to be careful about 32 bit version or 64 bit environment now you can access is a java package that is pure java jdbc you can access a pure java jdbc driver for access you can access works for all operating systems as it is a java package it allows you to work with an ms access database directly from java without the need for the odbc bridge in order to use you can access download you can access 3.0.7 bin zip file extract its contents in a specified folder it's very good that there is no need to create a dsn in control panel like we used to do in case of jdk 1.7 now i will show you a sample program and in this sample program we will be using this you can access driver here you can see in the previous version that is jdk 1.7 and before we used to write it like this class dot for name sun dot jdbc dot odbc dot jdbc odbc driver actually this is the jdbc odbc bridge and we used to get the connection by using this get connection uh function and the syntax was like jdbc colon odbc colon sale purchase and this sale purchase used to be the dsn which we used to write rather we used to create in control panel but now the syntax goes like this we people are supposed to write string we are we are supposed to declare any string variable name could be anything like it is db url and within double inverted commas i am writing jdbc colon you can access colon double slash c colon and then this is the full path of the database that is lying on your computer system it could be a acc db file or mdb file like in my case the name of the database file is sale purchase dot mdb and it lies in the folder mahajans so it could be anywhere on your computer so you can give the correct path and then in the second statement cn is nothing else i should tell you i have declared a reference variable of the connection class so i am writing cn is equal to driver manager dot get connection the name of the string and then we are supposed to give username and password so in this case we are not giving any username or password so we are leaving it both the entries are being uh, left blank so this is how your program will be executed but before that i will have to tell you that in the library we will have to include the library you can access how do we do it now we are working in netbeans go to the libraries press the right mouse button go to add library and in add library go to create and give the library name anything but it should be suggestive like i am giving it the name you can access something click on okay this window will appear go to add jar folder click on this now i will show you this is the path where i have extracted the zip file that i had downloaded from the internet 
with the name you can access 3.0.7 bin dot zip or dot raw it could be any file okay then you go to this folder and add this file you can access 3.0.7 is the version which could be anything then again click on add jar folder and now enter into the folder lib and you are supposed to add all these jar files these are jar files java archive files include them one by one okay right now click on okay now you can see <clears throat> the name you can access is appearing in the list of available libraries you can access this is the library which i have i have just created click on add library so you can see it has been added below this uh, libraries section and all those jar files they have been included now you are ready to execute your program i am executing the program okay uh, this is the main program which is executing i will just go to uh, list customer because this was the program which uh, in which i have shown you how to go for connectivity list customer so this is the names of the customers which are being shown because the database connectivity has taken place successfully and it's showing the names of all the customers so uh, if you have any problem you can email me at abmahajans@gmail.com and i will send you the sample program also thank you very much